A map is a collection of pairs of any two things that you want to link together and keep track of. The first item maps to the second item. When defining a map, the two parameters between the angle brackets specify the data types for the two things that we're linking together. The first item is what we call the key. This will be what you use to look up or query the map. In this example, our key is of the data type integer. The second item is called the value. This is what you will retrieve when querying your map with the key. Here, our map is holding string values. You add key value pairs to the map using the put method, like this. Here we are putting three key value pairs into our map. To query our map for a value using a key, we use the map's get method, like this. Here we are passing in the key of 2, which maps to the string value monkey. After executing our apex, you can see in the output window that we have printed the expected value to the debug log. Let's break down a situation in Apex where a map would be useful. Let's say we want to write a before insert trigger on the case object that sets the priority field to high if the account associated with the case has an annual revenue of more than 500. If this was an after insert trigger, we could write code like this to query for the account information related to the cases, loop through the cases, and mark each case that meets the criteria. However, because this is a before insert trigger, these case records have not yet been committed to the database. The case objects do not have IDs, and this SQL query will not work. We need a way to get all of the account annual revenue values and look it up for each case. First, we create a list of IDs to hold all of the account IDs associated with all of our case records. Then we loop through our cases and add the account ID to the list if it isn't already there. Our unique account ID list is then used as part of a SQL WHEREIN clause to give us all of the annual revenue amounts. To make those annual revenue amounts retrievable by account ID, we put the account list into a map. This can be done easily by passing the list to the map constructor. The constructor knows to use the account ID for the map's key by default. The entire account object is stored as the map's value. Now we can loop through our case records and retrieve the account for each one using the map's get method. After checking the account's annual revenue value, we can mark the case priority if appropriate. Our trigger logic is now complete.